here's a typical condition here later on in the day in the deep south it might be 85 degrees F 80 percent RH relative humidity the site chart here you've got 85 dry bulb extend the line up here and here's the 80 percent humidity what that means is that the air is holding 80 percent of the moisture it could hold compared to saturation if you go over here and extend the line over it's got 150 uh, grains of moisture per pound if it was totally saturated you, with the same temperature you'd go up here and hit 85 wet bulb and dry bulb extend this over you have about 185 grains per pound so the ratio of this to this other number in grains is 80 percent now the reason a swamp cooler doesn't really work here is that if you take this air here at 85 percent uh, dry bulb and 80 percent humidity what a swamp cooler will do is you'll have if the water is supplied at the same temperature as wet bulb at 80 which may be a fairly decent approximation here with the groundwater might be slightly lower but if it is what happens is you have a process that goes along this line so the best you could do is have air entering out at 80 degrees F at 100 percent humidity so if you have this thing running outside on your porch and you have it blowing on you you get some air that seems like it's five degrees cooler but then instead of being 80 percent humidity it's a hundred percent so that's kind of a not a very good uh, machine here in the deep south it's kind of almost useless they sell those at Home Depot which is kind of a they must be full of it but uh, in California you might get a situation situation down here where you're 80 percent humidity down here in only say 30 percent humidity and then if you go ahead and you have some swamp cooling action going on you could get over here and get its saturation you've got 64 degrees F so you've got a bigger ability to go through and cool down just to evaporation down the south here it's so saturated already that what you call the depression you're going to get is very little here this is all you can get five degrees in this case the process is along the green line in this wet bulb situation but what you're going to have is you're going to drop five degrees in temperature with the saturated air and you can approach 100 percent humidity here the California case you might be down here at 85 degrees F 30 percent humidity relative humidity and you go along one of these lines here let's say you only get halfway here with air mixing you could have exit air at 72 degrees at 60 percent humidity so you that feels pretty good that's why a swamp cooler works in the desert areas dry areas down here in the deep south it's basically a bunch of monkey poo it just doesn't work very well extreme conditions you might be down here in a desert and have 85 degrees at a 10 percent humidity out in the middle of a desert and got 10 percent RH here 85 F you get a little bit of evaporation going on you might get down here to a 40 percent it's 69 degrees uh, so you get a lot of cooling going on this green line is really long get saturation coming out you could get all the way up here to 55 degrees so what can happen is air is coming out you got it saturated right by the coil but then the air that's between the two coil pieces uh, that are going through you got saturation here saturation some air that just passes through and it mixes so practically this is the entering air this is if all the air was saturated you practically have something going around on this line same thing up here you're never probably going to get all the air to be saturated you've got some type of a 
process going on in here with the mixed air. So they don't really don't talk that much about that in the lesser books. They talk about air mixing, but you're going to get a resultant out that is probably in one of the, between these two extremes. So you get some air coming out in the desert situation, 65 degrees here at 50 percent, and that feels pretty darn good. Over here, you know, in the swamp, Louisiana, Mississippi, isn't worth a hill of beans. Maybe in a semi-dry area here, 30 percent RH, still get some pretty good uh, action going on. Might be working over here.